Arlene, I know that many people in our audience today are very, very happy to see you again because they have such fond memories of the beauty happenings that you've done in oh, Dallas and Fort Worth. Well, Dallas and Fort Worth, that's my home away from home, you know, Bobby. I just feel so at home there. I adore it, really. I hope to come back soon. Well, we'll be looking for you, but in the meanwhile, I'm happy to have this chance to bring them to you on film from Port St. Lucie, Florida. Arlene, you said something earlier today uh, that I had not heard put in these exact terms, and I thought, what a perfectly marvelous way to express it. You were talking about health and, and uh, taking care of oneself, and you referred to it as body ecology. Oh, you're very clever to have picked that up. Yes, it just came to me at that moment this Well, morning. keep it in, Arlene. And, and nobody great. else asked me about that. Aren't you clever? so smart this body no no but i just thought that that well, was such an expressive and it says a lot it does and body ecology and ecology for whether, whether it's beautifying america or beautifying yourself starts from within it's what each individual does with themselves and then you know like a stone being thrown in the water it it reverberates you know i think uh, I, and you were trying to bring out to us i think the point that uh one cannot be attractive and pretty and, uh, you know, give an aura of, of uh, good looks without being very healthy from within. Absolutely. So I've, I've never known a beautiful woman, Bobby, that wasn't healthy. I mean, if you think of Camille, she didn't live long enough to enjoy her success, you know. So really, health is the basis of beauty, really. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, more is being done today uh, on discovering uh, what a vitamin can do or what vitamins can do and what health, uh, healthy, balanced diets can do, not only for the woman, but for their children and their husbands as well, the whole family. Now, I know that, that uh, you're very much in favor of health foods, but we do read pro and con about health food. And uh, if a person wanted to just not go overboard with it, but just uh, try it out to see if they could get some results, what would you advise them to do? I would advise everybody to start with their own yard and, and raise vegetables, as we do in uh, our home in California. Uh, the children raise their own carrots and peas and tomatoes, and, and uh, they haven't liked vegetables up until the time they started raising their own uh, vegetables and now they they love them and they learn how to cook them I think that's the healthiest way to get into this kind of uh, as it's not a health food kick I think eventually we'll all be you know raising our own uh, food because we're not going to be able to to afford uh, uh, the uh, the food uh, as time goes by because our population growth and various other uh, things that will happen so I think everybody should should uh, raise at least something, whether it's a herb in there, some herbs that flavor their foods in there. They have an apartment in the, in the kitchen and the little uh, window boxes or whatever. But I think everybody should have some kind of specialized kind of thing they do to be healthy. The government seems to be taking an interest in this kind of thing, don't they? Absolutely, and I'm so proud of our president for uh, establishing two years ago a Council on Nutrition. He, as a matter of fact, put the American Medical Association to shame. Up until last year, they didn't have their own Council on Nutrition, but uh, they did form one after the president did, and they're now learning more about vitamins and what they do, which they should do, because I believe in preventative medicine. There aren't enough doctors to go around now, and we're discovering new diseases every day, you know? And uh, as we were saying uh, some time ago, Bobby, you and I, we have to be healthy because if we're not healthy, then our whole career is affected, you see. And we enjoy what we do, so we want to keep healthy, and so we read everything we can on health foods and vitamins and so on. And I think everybody should do that. I really do, because I think health is a, a very important thing. Arlene, we have just about a minute left, and I wanted to ask you because uh, in Texas, we're very outdoorsy kind of people, mm. and uh, we're reading so much now about the sun, uh, you know, how much, and some saying stay out of the sun as much as possible. What, are, what is your own point of view on the sun? Well, I love the sun, but the sun can age your skin faster than any other single thing. And in fact, in, in crash diets are bad, and too much alcohol is bad, but the sun, too overexposure to the sun, too much sun is the worst thing. I love the sun. I love to look at it and it makes me happy and it's uh, uh, but I cannot get too much sun or it makes me sick and uh, I think direct exposure to the sun is very bad I get indirect exposure as we are right now and this is marvelous and every woman I think should wear a sunscreen under her moisturizer or under her her makeup to uh, 
to keep her skin from aging prematurely. Arlene, thank you for talking with us today. It's been really great to have you. Thank you, Bobby. I'm glad to see you again. Here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Yes.